Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review. Namaste, Dan Yavad. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we're going to trigger a Power Automate flow from a Microsoft Power App. Uh, and we'll just get this Power Automate flow to just send an email. But what we're going to do first things first is we're going to create the Power App. So we'll just get started. So if you come to Power Apps, create a new Canvas app from Bank. And I will call it Power App Flow Trigger Test. So I'm just going to create that. Okay, so just for this app, I'm just going to insert a button. That's all the app's going to be. Obviously, for this for this video, we're showing how you can trigger a Power Automate flow from when you click this button. So I'll just change the text on this. Trigger flow. And there's our button. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save the app. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the Power Automate flow. So if you come over to Microsoft Power Automate and you can create a new flow. And if you want to select Instant Cloud Flow. Now, when you come onto Instant Cloud Flow, I'm just going to name that the same name. But as you can see here, there's a trigger called Power Apps. So we're going to go ahead, select that, and then create the flow. And this will create our, our new flow, which will trigger from Power Apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the next step in to just send an email. So whenever this flow is triggered, it's just going to send me an email. I'll turn it to myself. Kyle. Email. Triggered. Okay, so there's our email set up. Okay, perfect. So now our flow is ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to make sure that the flow is turned on, which it is. So now that's ready to go. So I'm just going to go back to our Power App. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the button that triggers the flow. So if you select the button, if you come to the top and select Action, and then select Power Automate. So now what this will do is this will load all the Power Automate flows in your tenant um, or in this environment, which all have a Power Apps trigger. So I'm just going to scroll down to Power App Flow Trigger Test. I'm going to click on that, and that will set that up in the on select property of our button. So it'll take a couple of seconds to add, and there you can see that's now added. So that is running this Power Automate flow. Um, so the reason the way it adds here is if we're going to pass some parameters in, but for this video, we're not going to pass any parameters in. So I'm just going to close the brackets here, close those parentheses. Um, but in the next video, I'll show you how you can pass a parameter into the email as well. Just for this one, we just trigger the flow. So now if we can just close this. So we've got our button. When you select our button, it runs the Power App Flow Trigger Test. And it just runs that flow. So let's just give it a test. So I'm going to click the plus here. I'm going to click on the button. That looks to have worked fine. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the Power Automate flow to make sure it ran. And yeah, it did. So there you can see the flow succeeded. Here you can see the um, my Outlook just popped up to say I've just got that email. So there you can see that's all run. Now you can trigger Power Automate flows from the Power App side. Uh, I hope this video helps someone. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.